We begin this very busy Wednesday with the indictment of Representative George Santos. This afternoon, Santos pleading not guilty in a federal courtroom in Central Islip. Today, we learned exactly what charges Mr. Santos is now facing. 13 counts in all, seven counts of wire fraud, three counts of money laundering, one count of theft of public funds, and two counts of making materially false statements to the House of Representatives. Just a couple of hours ago, Santos leaving the courtroom to a horde of media and addressing the charges for the very first time. We've got live team coverage. Sonia Rincon has reaction from the indictment, but we begin with Shante Lands, who was shoulder to shoulder with Santos as he left the courthouse. Shante? Well, Shade and Bill, it was a very chaotic scene here outside of the courthouse, but inside, up on the eighth floor, you could see the stress on Congressman George Santos's face. Still, he's staying defiant, saying he will not resign in spite of a 13-count criminal indictment. The melee surrounding embattled Congressman George Santos outside of federal court after he was criminally charged on a 13-count indictment. He was arraigned on Long Island, which is the same place he successfully campaigned on egregious lies that he told to his 700,000 constituents. Look, this is the beginning of the ability for me to address and defend myself. He addressed reporters outside of court. $750,000, they said that you reported that wrongly. Do you have any comment to that? Well, like I said, I will be giving them all, will be delivering all the finances of my company, I'm delivering all my finances to them to dispel uh, their, their accusa uh, accusation and, against me. And prosecutors charged Congressman Santos after months of investigation by the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of New York, which has been looking into possible violations of campaign finance laws. The 13 count 19 page indictment outlines three main alleged schemes. Donor fraud, Santos and an unnamed Queens-based political consultant allegedly defrauded donors by convincing them to contribute to an LLC he controlled under the false pretense that the money would be used to support his candidacy. Unemployment fraud, Santos is accused of fraudulently applying for and receiving unemployment benefits when he was employed and running for Congress. Meanwhile, Congressman Santos is co-sponsoring a bill that would crack down on unemployment fraud. I spoke with Santos's attorney, Joe Murray, outside of court. Pretty serious allegations, taking unemployment well, and, and using well, the money when the you have 100. The government comes after you, it's a serious case. So. Right. We have to take this serious. Uh, we have to look at, you know, all the evidence. Santos has admitted to lying about his employment, education, and family no history, but has denied any legal wrongdoing. And you will not resign? I will not resign. The 34-year-old announced he will run again, despite previously saying he wouldn't. Santos even posting a link online to collect campaign donations. It's a bold move, drawing strong criticism and outrage from both New York Republicans and Democrats. And one of those Republicans drawing strong outrage is Nassau County District Attorney Ann Donnelly. We spoke with her earlier today. She says they're doing their own investigation. We know that. But she said in the midst of her team investigating, they found evidence that they thought they would never find. Meanwhile, Congressman Santos is due back in court here on June 30th.